Hey, my name is Jason Wagner, and I'm a software developer on the Jazz Foundation server team. And I wanted to show you guys uh, a feature today that we're really excited about. And uh, I think it's going to make a huge improvement in the setup process, um, especially for new users and people just looking to evaluate the product. So this demo is going to be about the Express setup. So first thing I'll do is log in here. And you'll notice that there's a new setup landing page. Now previously we only had uh, a single path which was the custom setup path. And this path took you through all of the available options, uh, setting up enterprise databases, LDAP, um, registering applications, a lot of very complex and you know sometimes custom setups. Um, and this is great for a lot of our customers but sometimes you just want to run a quick demo or you know you just want to evaluate the software so what we did was we added a new path which we're calling express setup and this setup is basically the bare minimum that you need to set up in order to get a running CLM server so I'll take you through that setup today and kind of explain it as we go so as you can see here it says that the default database will be Derby and we'll use Tomcat user registry. So if you are setting up a production environment this is not going to be the correct path for you. So let's click next to continue. Now the first thing we'll see here is the configure public URI page. Um, this is the same as in the custom setup basically we need to specify a main URL for our server and this URL will be used uh, when communicating with the other applications so it's very important to read this step and make sure that you pick a good URL so as we can see here um, mine is automatically filled out based on the URL that I used to access this wizard so I'm going to click that I understand um, the implications of setting this URL and then I'll click next Now the next thing I have to do is create a new user for my server. So this is the new administrator um, that we'll need to create and once we create this user the default admin user which I'm currently logged in as will be disabled. Okay so let's click next to begin. So if you've run custom setup in the past, you'll recognize uh, some of these step names. And basically what we're doing is running the same setup that, we run, um, that we've run in previous releases, but now we're doing it um, automatically. So we're taking uh, mostly taking the defaults um, for a lot of these values, and we're going ahead and registering applications, the default applications that came installed with the CLM. So as you can see, uh, the, we finished registering, and now we're setting up the CCM application. So we're going to configure the database, finalize the application, and we'll do the same for QM and RM as well. And finally, uh, Lifecycle Project Administration gets set up and finalized. Uh, we kick off the diagnostics and we're finished. So let's click next. Okay, so now we're, um, we need to assign some licenses to our new admin user. So I'm just going to pick a couple here. Pick a quality manager. And we'll grab a developer cal as well. Okay, and we're done. Now, clicking finish brings us to the Jazz Team Server admin homepage. Um, and now, server's ready to go. I mean, every all the apps have been registered and configured. So, if we just want to verify um, that, we can go to the server page.
and then to the registered applications page. And here we can see that all four applications have been registered successfully and our server is in good shape. So we really think that you know Express Setup is going to be a much easier way for new users to try out the product and you know to explore CLM and not have to worry about um, complex environment settings and you know setting up LDAP and that sort of thing so this would be a great way for them to kick the tires in and just get going quickly and that concludes this demo thank you